Alright guys, welcome in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you something really cool and amazing that will help you in your web programming projects. How you can troubleshoot them, how you can make them better, and how you can deliver the best possible project to your clients. So if you are not using Google Chrome, you should be using it as a web developer because it is by far the best web development tool out there that is industry standard by now. All the people that I know, they use this to troubleshoot their particular projects. So let's assume you have already installed the Google Chrome in your project. I mean, in your computer, PC, Mac, whatever you're using, right? So. Let's say you have a project. Uh, I'm gonna bring one up one second, let me see. All right, so this is one of the projects that I have worked on. It's pretty basic. So one of the things you can do is you can right click on it and obviously look at the first option, which is your page source code by clicking on this page view so page source. If you click on this, it will give you all the code that was designed to build this particular uh, page. So you can literally copy this and save it as HTML and then you can use it in your project. That's one option, right? Another one is while you are building your project, there might be some uh, features or functionality of your project where you upload it I mean, upload it to your website or your server, and then you want to see there are a few files that load via AJAX and what the response time is and so on and so forth. And then in order for you to see that, what you can do is you can right click here and then you can click on where it says inspect or there's a short code, which is control shift I. If you click on that, you will see this window. And in this window, there's a whole bunch of options out there for you to play around with it. If you are under the elements tab, you can literally drill down by each tag. So let's say if you wanna look at header, you can click on head and then in here, let me just minimize this a little bit or make it smaller. So in, in your head tag, you have your first line of code, which is your CSS in this case. And then you have your script tag, title, so on and so forth. And then also you got your JavaScript. And then this is visible to you. And now you might be wondering, oh, okay, that's great, Mark. Who cares, right? Whatever. <laughs> and I don't blame you. Like, yeah, that's fine. But here's the next best thing. So for example, you got this page right here, right? Right now, it looks plain and boring. So let's say if you want to modify some of the properties of a particular element, you can literally just right click on here and then click on inspect and then what that will do is in this time is going to go to that particular element itself so as you can see it went right through if, you, if i hover my mouse over it it selects that and puts a, a gray border around that particular element by doing this what you can do next is if you want to change a certain pop part of the uh, properties on that what you can do is on the right hand side right here you can just say uh, color as you start typing in is going to give you different options for that particular uh, element. So if you want to change the color of it, let's just say background. And then you can say background. You could say I want to make it a, I don't know, black. So as you can see, the background turns black. Great. And now what you can do is I want to change the color of it. So it's going to be the color is going to be White, as you start to type, it gives you a different option as well. So let's just say if you want to type white. It's great. <clears throat> now, next thing what you can do is I want to pad it. You can pad it to 25 pixel. Great. And as you can see, you can quickly and easily customize this. And then once you are pretty okay with it, you can copy this whole thing and put it into CSS, bada bing, bada boom. Now you might be wondering, okay, my, that's great, but how can I possibly use this in my project? One way that I have used in my project, which you can use on your project as well, is let's say you have a client meeting. 
and you have designed this application for this particular client in which the client told you this is what you want but when you have a meeting and they're like oh it would be kind of nice if you could change the color just a little bit over here and then move it down a little bit and then you can open up your google chrome and then do the same exercise here and then right there and then you can make live edit and save it into your project and you're done and as compared to you give them a file they look at it and then give you back the adjustments and then you have to go back and forth, back and forth. That will save you a bolt load of time. All right, so that's one option, right? And another one is called console. And in here, if you want to show certain things, it will show up here. So for example, uh, let me open up that page and put it in my sublime text editor and I'll show you how to get to the screen. All right, so um, now I am in that it's my Sublime Text Editor. It's my favorite editor of choice. Your mice might be different. So in here, if I say I want to console log something, I could say uh, code with mark and then save it. And if I refresh it now, just have your attention on this side of the screen. As you can see, it prints it out here. So where this will come in handy is if you're doing some AJAX requests and you want to know what the response is, you can literally console log into it here and you will see what happens here. And another feature is, which is the network tab. And then here, this is going to be completely revolutionized the way you think of building your application because in here when you load your page right now this is a very simple page so it's not going to take as long but if you have a very huge page with different scripts and whatever and you want to know what the load time will be how long will it take for someone to load up that page on their computer you can come to the screen and you can say i'm going to reload it and it will tell you right over here how long it took how long ago was it taken well right now it's told you nine point ten point six hours well that's not right but it's pretty cool i don't know why this is saying here but as you can see one below it said it only took 30 milliseconds to load up and then another feature in here is that you can disable the cache which means it will load up the fresh file every single time as compared to if I uncheck this and reload it and you can see it says it is disk loaded meaning that Chrome browser by default caches all the files far as JavaScript, CSS, so on and so forth to help you speed up the process. So that's one feature. And then also what you can do in here while you're in the network tab, you can also say, hey, if I want to, let's say if I want to test it out, how long will it take if somebody has a 3G or slow connection and then see how long this my page will take? You can click on this online and then you can say slow. And then I, what I would do is I'll just disable it and then reload the page. And this is with very slow. And then for 11 kilobytes, it will take two seconds for it to hold in there thing to load up and then what it will do is it will tell you it took four requests at the bottom here and then total page size is 55 kilobytes and then 165 kilobytes resources which is other resources and that's that and another feature in which I want to show you also is while you're in here and then what it will do is if you have some AJAX requests that is going to a certain API and bringing the data back, you can literally click on these different tabs over here. So let's just say if you wanna look at only JS files that get loaded, you can click on this JS. It's gonna only show you JS. If, page, if your page has any CSS, it's gonna show you CSS. Images, media, font, doc, and then if any AJAX request, this is gonna be under this particular tab. So that's that. And another feature while we're here is that, let's say if you are trying to make sure that your application, your web application is mobile friendly, which means if you resize it, it will 
it will adjust accordingly. So another thing what you can do here is to test that particular feature out is there's this look like a tablet and a cell phone looking thing, this icon. If you click on it, it will convert your current browser into a mobile browser. So I'm gonna say go online and make it a regular speed. So it speeds up a little bit. And then what, as I was saying, so now it's back to normal speed, I'm gonna reload it. So right now it turns your regular Chrome into a mobile browser user experience, but that's not where it stops. You can also test for different devices by clicking on here. Right now I'm testing it for Pixel 2, but if you want, you can pick, test it for uh, Galaxy S5 and then iPhone, crappy one, anyway, and iPad, so on and so forth. But if you want more, you can click on Edit, and it's gonna show you a whole bunch of other lists that you can test your particular application for it. So that's a very, very cool uh, experience uh, when you wanna know to see if how your mobile application or your web application react at a certain device with certain particular different uh, pixel dimension and so on and so forth. So this is a neat feature. So let's move on to the next one which is the application and in here, let me just make this regular. So in here, it gives you an option where anytime a cookie is stored or local storage is stored or anything that is stored in your uh, client's browser, your application, it will show up here. So by default, it has nothing right now. So let me just go to another one. Uh, I'll go to Google itself. And now you can see when Google's page loads up, it stores all of these different values. I don't know what all those means, but if you do, I'd love to know, just comment it below and I'll be like, okay, that's amazing because I don't know what any of this means, but that's their way of doing things. But what I wanted to show you was, this is local storage where all this different information will be stored in your client's computer that you can actually access it in your application. And then you can also store session storage as well. And if you have some index DB, you can store any cookies. You can store, apparently, Google stores a lot of cookies in your computer and so on and so forth. And then also, another thing that I want to show you as well was, so let's just say you have this file, right? Uh, let's go here, I wanna go to this file. So let's just say, I wanna look at this one, right? And let's go to resources page. All right, so here we go. So under sources page, and if you double click on this one, it will give you the HTML of it, all of it, great. Then if you go down and let's just say you click on, I'm gonna open this one up. Right now, this is all what they call is uglified, which means it's very jumbled up space. And as you can see, it only has one line of code in terms of line wise. But if you wanna make it prettify or pretty, so you can see all the source codes that it took to develop this particular library, you can, let me move this up a little bit. You can click on this curly bracket. If you hover your mouse over it, it will say pretty print. If you click on it, it will automatically take that one line of code and make it pretty so that you can go line by line. This is what it means. This is what it means. Oh, okay, this is what it does. So these are some of the features that you can use to make your web projects more effective, more easier, and most importantly, your clients will be happy and you'll be happy with that money. All right, guys, so that's the end of this particular tutorial. But however, I always, always, always go above and beyond for you. So I have two things for you. One is you can get your free gift at codewithmark.com forward slash gift. And if you are a new web developer and you want to increase the 
level of your knowledge and you want to learn a lot of things a lot faster make sure you check out my store which i will leave the leave the link in the description that will help you speed up your web development career at as lightning speed all right guys until next time happy coding